Hello everyone, Warwolf back here again with another episode of Rare Hunting Achievements. We are going to keep working on House Flipper. Uh, if you watched my Monday video, you probably would have heard that this might be my last House Flipper video because I have worked on it on my off time. But before we go ahead and actually do anything on the houses, I want to show you at least how much progress I have made so you can kind of see what I've done in the meantime okay so first off we're gonna start here as you can see up in the top right hand corner I have a decent amount of money now I'm able to pretty much buy anything that I want and I also wanted to show you this house this is the unwaste house it is uh, one of the more expensive houses that you can buy but I did this on purpose here we can see that I have not touched anything whatsoever to this building. There's still garbage all over the place. Um, you can see some of the rooms, bathrooms not finished. Let's see, here's the kitchen, living room. Here's a, I guess another living room, the garage. Everything's still a mess. We haven't touched anything whatsoever. There's storage room, bedrooms, typical basic stuff that any house should have. So, what I ended up doing is I ended up buying this house. And from what you guys remember, in the first couple of videos, I had this little tiny shack that I was working out of. But I bought this house and I remodeled it. So, if we go back to that house, ah, uh, sure. I didn't do anything, but I'll save it anyway. So I took that house and I remodeled it in this one. I did a little bit of outside work. As you can see, the siding has been changed and the brick over here, which I forgot to do right here, is a little bit darker. But we cleaned it up and did a little more. So welcome to my home and my new office. So I changed this around. As you can see, there are no more walls right here. It is a nice open space. We got a dining room, living room, and a brand new kitchen. The garage has been cleaned up. I added a little more storage and this bench that looks like it would be somebody's toolbox. I added a small little bathroom in here for everybody to use, kind of like quickly if you're getting out of a vehicle or you're coming from the backyard or something. Um, a little bit of laundry room. I have added an office into the space of the living room. And then if we go and check everything out upstairs, here is the bedroom that I have remodeled. I have this bedroom that I remodeled. And this bathroom that I remodeled. But I added one extra feature in there. Off to the left of the stairs, we had a storage room. But, instead I added a sauna in there. Yes, it is pronounced sauna. For those of you that are Finlanders, it is not sauna. So, I'm gonna take that other house and I am going to remodel that one as our very last house because that is the last one that we need for the achievement. If you guys remember, I was going for um, the achievement to sell 50 homes. Currently only 0.5% of the people that have played this game have that achievement. So it is still a valid rare achievement hunter in my eyes. So we're going to go there and we're going to go back to that house. And um, I will speed through the process of doing a little remodel. I'm not going to do it as extensive as I did with the house that I'm in right now because that was a decent amount of time. I think it took me maybe like close to five hours in order to remodel that whole thing off and on. But um, yeah, so we're gonna use this house. We're gonna clean it up. We're gonna see how much we can sell it for. Hopefully we can do all right. And then, uh, then I'll come back to you.
All right, guys. So we decided to go through this house and consider this one as our last house. Um, from what you guys seen me do, I went through the house. I made sure everything is clean, and I sold a few things. Just basic, whatever that I'm assuming that everyone is going to have in the first place when they move in. I had to add a few lights in and <clears throat> um, add some fixtures and stuff. I also made sure to paint all of the rooms like a white color. That way whoever moves in can pick whatever colors they want, except for this one. This is the only one that I've changed colors on just because it's a kid's room already as it is. And the light green is kind of a mellow green. It's good for a kid's room. And I didn't have to touch the bathroom. I'm happy with the bathroom. So. I'm also not going to touch the outside because that one is pretty extensive to do and it takes forever to do. So we're going to see how much we can sell this house for. Yes, I'm pretty sure I want to sell the house. So we originally bought the house for $161,383.69 and I put about 42 minutes into it. So. Yeah, Mr. Popular. Wow, I am actually surprised that Dolan Trusk did not buy my house. <coughs> so the initial price on the house to buy it for is $257,720.43, which gives me a profit of $96,286.78. I, however, am going to try and negotiate that offer and boost it a little bit. I'm going to see if I can get an extra, let's try $35,000, we'll see what happens. If they, oh, no, they didn't take it. That's all right. I tried. It's still ninety-six thousand dollars. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to accept that offer. And I do believe by selling that house. Come on. All righty. So, I may have been wrong. Let's go double check. Go in our office here. Browser. Okay. So, I was wrong with that house. It was not the very last house that, um, to get our achievement. But,. I do have a few houses extra to show you guys. One of them I'm just going to sell for the achievement after I show you, and that is going to be Samarta Myers' house. Um, if this is the house that I remember correctly, it is the Halloween update. And um, there's a few things that happen in the house. I'm not going to tell you what. I will show you what, though. For those of you that don't play, then you'll see what they decide to add in. Along with a loan home, that was probably one of the most expensive houses in the game. And then there's the Christmas update, so when you go in there, it's nice and Christmassy. Including the outside, it has a bunch of, well, a little bit of snow compared to us. So first off, let's go to Smart Meyer's house. Yes, this is in fact the one that I was thinking of. So, I'm just going to show you what happens and then I'm going to sell this house. 
So obviously this was a um, seasonal thing. It happened on Halloween. And as you can see from the outside, we have a decent looking house with a little garden gnome. And the door opens by itself on me. So we go into the house, and there's a few things. I just want to show you that, but when we turn around here, there is an evil bloody gnome. And he's looking at me. The only thing that he doesn't... Oh, yeah, never mind. He does look back. I don't know what happens if you're looking at him, though. Okay. So he doesn't look back. Okay. So as long as you turn around, he looks at you again. He's one of those guys. Nice little guys. So as you can see, there's cobwebs all over the place. There's boxes. There's not much to do in this house. I will dispose of some of it. I don't remember what the teddy where the bunny was for. And there's this weird mask sitting on the wall. There's also this room right here. This is not actually a room. This is some stuff boarded up. These walls can be fixed, sort of. Either that or they're open, I don't remember. But let's do this first. We're gonna go upstairs. And as you can see, a few a few things have changed. Go in this room, nothing special. I'll go down here, we'll check out these rooms. Nothing special. Stuff on the floor. Um dirt. And there is another one of the bunnies. I don't know what the bunnies are for. I haven't figured it out yet. It was a nice little uh, venture off in here, though. And um, there's there's some feet. And that person crawled away on us. I'm not exactly sure what's on the wall. I'm going to assume it's what I probably think it is. But there are cockroaches and stuff. I'm all over the place. For some reason, the upstairs is weird. But, um, there's another door that opens on us. The basement is the weirdest part. My flashlight doesn't like me when I go down here. At all. There's, um, that weird painting. And I also noticed that, uh, there's that weird painting. So this room, I will clean up just because I am down here. And, um, once you come in here, the door closes on you. So you are stuck here. There's another one of those things that I'm assuming is timed. Um... Maybe just to freak you out a little bit. I don't know. Either that or I don't remember how to get out of here. I think I'm stuck. No. The only other way is if you um, bust your way out. So we're just going to do it the easier route. Oh, we can't break that. Okay. So you're going to have to go the other way. You can't break it out either. How do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Okay, open on me. So, there is, however, a room over here. And this weird stuff. So, we got the typical Halloween um, lights flickering, goofy, goofy look to the house. And, uh, there is one hidden room here. Let's see if I can get in here real quick. It is really hard to do things when the screen is goofed up like this. So, obviously we have another weird one. Um, I don't know exactly what the Book of Secrets is. 
What? We can't read it, unfortunately. That would be cool if we could actually read the book. There's our bunny. As far as that, this is the house. There's nothing extra special about it. Nothing, unfortunately, happens again. Once everything is done, it's done. So, we'll see, just out of curiosity, how much we can sell this haunted house for. I bought this house for $235,607.70. Obviously, I have not spent a whole lot of time on it. And we're going to speed this up a little bit. $253,000. Well, I'm going to drive just out of curiosity to see if we can maybe get, like, another... 20,000 out of them just to boost the price just a little bit. Okay, they're gonna accept our proposal, so that's gonna get us 38,000 as a profit. Um, barely spent any money. Or we didn't spend any money to update the house or anything, and there's even a big hole inside of the wall. So, we're gonna accept that offer. And that is our rare hunter. Achievement for a senior estate agent selling 50 houses and um, I do have one other one to show you just because So later on in the year after Halloween Obviously they're going to do something for Christmas So if we go over here we have The alone home I don't know why it's called a lone home. I don't think I have figured out exactly what it is. I have explored this one just a little bit. It'd be nice if it was clean in the first place, but unfortunately it is not. Um, there's a lot going on in this house just because of the holidays. You'll see when we get there. If it'll load, that'd be great. Freshly cut grass, bomb to my heart. Okay, so outside we have a little bit of snow. It's not like it's um, very prominent or anything. It looks like we just got a dusting on Christmas. We have some ornaments and everything. Um, yeah, it looks like they tried to paint the house. We're just going to get rid of that stuff. And here is our Christmas room. We got a Christmas tree, presents. Unfortunately, somebody broke a few of the ornaments before they decided to sell the place. Let's run this way. And we have a nice little study area. Old school TV, stuff like that. Um, we have a ton of feathers. I have not. Really, I'm not sure exactly why. There's feathers and everything all over the place, but... And whatever that was. So this place is a, is a little bit of a mess. Um, I'm just going to kind of clean up the stuff that's around. We're going to get rid of the pizza boxes and everything just because just that little tiny bit. Oh, okay. So there's a room I haven't been in, so we'll get to explore that one together. Door. There's two doors? Oh, never mind. Okay. I ended up opening one door and closing the other one that I already opened. Let's see what we got upstairs. I actually didn't explore this very much. This is kind of cool. We must have uh, bookshelves and stuff. Excuse the save and the. Whatever. Here's our Christmas bedroom. And a nice open bathroom with a mirror in it. For some reason, I'm not able to see myself. One bedroom for the kids. A bathroom for everybody. Um, Alright. Just a little empty closet room. I don't know what happened here, but... There's a little office, pay, or office and kids room. 
There's our kids' room with, ooh, nice big windows in it so they can see, bookshelves, all that stuff. Another kids' room. All right, so we got a few rooms for the kids, one for the adults. Well, let's go check out down in the basement. I, I'm pretty sure when I explored this, I did not look in the basement. That was one thing that I did not do. What happened to the stairs? Can we burn up those things or? All right, well, so it's a basic basement. People have stored their stuff in here. And they have stairs going out to the outside. We'll get this cleaned up a little bit. We're just gonna sell this house, call her good. And that'll be over our limit for the achievement. Obviously we have already got it. So let's see what we can get for it. We've had a few people change their minds a little bit. So we bought this house for $407,841.29. Um, just exploring it for three and a half minutes. And let's see what we can get for it. The Smooth family with uh, $459,905.19 gives me a $52,000 profit. But of course, I'm going to try and negotiate a little bit. We're going to try and go for... Let's try 30,000. Okay, so they can accept that one. Even though they wouldn't last time. So we now have a profit of $82,348.94. We're gonna accept that offer, go back to our house, and that will be it. So, as I mentioned before, this is our last episode. Um, there's a few little other odds and ends that are uh, that you're able to try and look for and find in the houses. Um, I'm not going to show you those ones. If you're going to play, you may as well find those on your own. They're very well worth it. Or I'm sure that somebody has a walkthrough or something out there for you. If you don't want to find them yourself. But that's the fun part. So that is it for the House Flipper Rare Hunter series. I finally got my last achievement. And um, it wasn't actually that bad. Yeah, given that we had to sell 50 houses, uh, I just took some time. It wasn't a matter of uh, spending a ton of hours in the game. And uh, yeah, so I had fun doing this. It was interesting being able to design the houses and everything. And uh, hopefully maybe I'll play a little bit more often on this one. Um, that way I can design some new houses and see what I can do changing the other ones. That is it for this episode. This is our last one for House Flipper. Thank you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification button if you want to get notif notified by all of my uploads. And we'll see you next time.